Chris Weidman mm-hmm. wins. He beats Omari Akhmedov. Uh, first win in three years. Had lost five of six going into this fight. Mm-hmm. Back down to 185. Can I just say something? I feel like Chris Weidman got a lot of crap after this fight. People say he wasn't impressive. Omari's a really tough guy, yeah. unbeaten in his last six. And at the end of the day, is there anything wrong with just doing what you need to do to win? He won the first round, clearly lost the second, and then dominated the third. What's wrong with that? I don't understand why everyone's so down on Chris's performance. Yeah, I, well, I, I would say I think it's because how good he has previously been. And they, me, they measure him versus that versus measuring him versus what he did. Um, I will say, you know, I think after watching that fight, it's pretty obvious that Chris Weidman has lost a step from where he was. But I, I love the grittiness he showed to get it done. Listen, they, they were both exhausted after round two. It was 1-1. One, one, and one of those guys was going to figure out a way to get their hand raised. And Chris did it in, in, in dominant fashion in the third round. So, man, um, you know, I don't know how much longer he's got. I think it's clear that he's kind of lost a step from where he was at when he was the champion. Um, but man, awesome, gritty performance. That was just I'm definitely something to be proud of for Chris. I, I think what added to the, uh, the hate that he received afterwards, or maybe the criticism or whatever, is what he said. He said, I'm back. And people are like, well, no, you're not yeah. really back, right? Do you think he can make a run at 185 right now? Shoot. Well, you got the rankings up? Uh, well, what are those rankings? Let's be honest. Uh, what? what really? he's, number, he's number 12? Yeah, the rankings. No, actually, I mean, he was point. unranked. He was unranked. Chris That's was. Me. Yeah, Chris was. Yeah. But Akhmedov was like 11, right. uh, 11 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah like, like I said, I, I think Chris has lost a step. I think it's going to be difficult for him to move up all that high. But I'm, I'm going to get the rankings up here. And um, I, I, there's guys on that list that I think he could beat for sure. But is he going to go with Adesanya or Kelvin? Could Gaspar? he beat a Derek Brunson? Yes, I think so. I mean, so then, that, then he's still a player. Yeah, I think he's still a player. Is he going to go get the title? I, you know, I would love to see Chris win it again, but that, that's a tough sell for me right now. Okay, so here's the thing. To me, if I were managing him, don't even care about the title. The t- forget about the title. Let's just get a whole bunch of other Omari Ahmedovs. Like, just get wins at this point. Let's get three in a row. Let's get four in a row. And yes. that was the one thing I didn't like about what he said afterwards. Forget about the, 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 the title picture. Forget about being a contender. Forget about all of that. Just go on a little run here. You know what I mean? I at the end of just get your confidence back. Just get yeah. your mojo back. Now, the one name that I heard people keep talking about afterwards was Luke Rockhold. And then on Sunday night, Luke texts me essentially saying I'm back and essentially implying that he wants Weidman again. Now, let me ask you this. Two things. A, what do you think of Luke coming back? He never officially retired, but he yeah. just told me late last year, very possible he's done. Didn't want to close the door, but it sounded like he had a foot out the door. And B, if you're down with him coming back, what do you think of the idea of him rematching Chris Weidman? Okay, so whew, that, that's, a, that's a lot of questions there. Well, I, I never really figured he was done, right? He never really said, I'm retired. And I just felt like, you know, he's still, he's like my age-ish, but he still feels like he's young. I know he's got a lot of fight left in him. Um, so I did think he was always going to come back. Now, let me, what is Luke's last win at uh, 185? I believe it was the David Branch fight. So it's, it's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. So I, th- I think you can match those two up. I think it would provide some excitement. Obviously, they had the title fight. Um, yeah, I, I'm in for that. Or I, so I, I just brought up the rankings also at middleweight. You know, I think you could match uh, Weidman with that, maybe an Edmund, right, who just had that bad loss, who was oh number 10. Okay. That's interesting, right? Because if Chris beats him, yeah. you know, you can start bumping him back up. Yeah. If Edmund wins, you can say now he's got a win of a former champion, right? That, that, that win can be valuable to both parties. And I think if you're their promoter, you're looking at like, you know, can I ma- do a matchup where if one of, no matter who wins, I'm going to be able to push someone up. And like that would be a good one for me. Yeah, I, I, I don't like the idea of him fighting Rockhold right off the bat. I don't like yeah, I don't that either. at all. I want to build those guys back up. You remember they were supposed to rematch at UFC 199, and I thought that was a mistake. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan of a guy losing the title and then, and especially like to be a knockout or whatever, and then getting that immediate rematch. I yes. like the idea of building them back up. Obviously, this DC Stipe fight is a little different. It's his retirement fight. I get it. But to me, like I like the Edmund idea, maybe a little more just – build him back up. I just don't understand all the hate that Rockhold gets. Like I reported this earlier this people morning. People hate Luke Rockhold. Oh my God. Look at the comments. Why do people I, hate I, Luke Rockhold so much? Listen, I, I, you know what? I like probably in that trip I was talking about where I worked out with Daniel, I worked out with Luke also. So we developed a kind of a friendship long time ago. And I like the guy. I get along with it. People freaking hate Luke Rockhold. I, he comes off a little bit arrogant. I would say that for sure. Um, you know, I think that's kind of part of his shtick or, you know, I don't think it's totally like 
he just doesn't know that's how he's coming off. I think he tries to attempt to be that way. Good looking guy. He's got a modeling thing going and he's, he's kind of a dick also a little bit. So I think he's got that going for him. But I mean, it's definitely what you want as a fighter. You want people to love you. You want people to hate you. You want to be one or the other. You don't want people to not care. Who wins? If they book that fight, let's say in December, Weidman or Rockhold? Oh God, that's tough. Cause we haven't seen, we haven't seen Rockhold in a long time. I was, he bumped up to light heavyweight to fight Jan Blockowitz. Right. Um, I'm going to go rock hold in a close one. Wow. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.